Hey guys, another director approved dual format edition Blu ray DVD on the Criterion Collection. This one, Breaking the Waves, a film by uh, Lars von Trier. Trier, Trier. Well, you'll have to. You'll have to tell me what his name is. I'm not familiar with this director, um, although I should be, uh, based upon this movie. A really excellent movie. Um, you know, it, it was... Uh, how do I want to explain this movie? Um, well, let's start with reading the back. I don't usually read the back to you, but I'm going to read the back on this one because it's, it's just that freaking odd. Uh, Lars von Trier, Trier, became an international sensation with this galvanizing realist fable about sex and spiritual spiritual transcendence. In an Oscar-nominated performance, Emily Watson stuns as best a simple, pious newlywed in a tiny Scottish village who gives herself up to a shocking form of martyrdom after her husband, Stellan Skarsgård, is paralyzed in an oil rig accident. Breaking the waves, both brazen and tender, profane and pure, is an examination of the expansiveness of faith and of its limits. Oh, there you go, now you know what it's about. Well, not quite. Uh, 1996, 159 minutes. And that is the director's cut, or that's the regular cut, my friends. Color, 5.1 surround, 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. Uh, gorgeous 4K digital restoration supervised by director Lars von Trier with 5.1 surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack on the Blu-ray. Uh, selected scenes audio commentary with the director and an editor and a location scout. New interview with the filmmaker and critic Stig Borkman. New interviews with actors Emily Watson and, and Stellan Skarsgård. Uh, interview with, uh, from 2004 with actor Adrian Rollins. Deleted and extended scenes with commentaries. Deleted scenes featuring the late actor Katrin Cartledge. I'm not sure who Katrin played or Katrin played. I think the film was dedicated to that individual. I should look that up. I will look it up as I'm going through this. So, let's see. Um, small Scottish village, yeah. Think Amish-like. Uh, at one point, they're talking about shunning shunning people from not just the church, from from society. So, a lot like the Amish. In fact, as I listen to the, to the, to the Scottish brogues here, who's the inside, um, a lot like Amish, if you've heard the Amish speak much, uh, a lot like that type of... of uh, of language or that type of speech pattern. That's the back, just pretty plain clouds. You know, and this is this is it. Gray sky, rocky, brownish, muddy, greenish uh, land that borders the sea. That that to me is Scotland in this movie anyway. Small village, you know, just a one white plain looking church. Most of the houses on the outside are white, some sort of stucco looking thing. Um not attractive and yet very effective. Uh, the the uh, picture quality is very good. The audio is very good. You won't need subtitles. Be well. You won't need subtitles unless you have trouble understanding Amish people speaking, and then then subtitles might come in handy for you. But it's plain English, no doubt. Uh, I read you the plot. Here's the insides. Again, a fairly desolate looking video or discs and video in the book there's the uh, husband and wife along with this countryside that I mentioned rocky and muddy looking and, uh, there you go an idea here what we're talking about Flip through this. Yeah, you know, there's a lot to say about this movie, and I'm, I, I'm hesitant to say anything about anything because it is so freaking bizarre. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. So, first of all, let me see. Who, oh, Katrin Cartledge is a. 
Dodo McNeil. I wonder how she died. I have to look that up. Dodo was her sister-in-law. That's 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 her right there. And there is the best character played by Emily Watson. Um, how to explain this movie without going too far in? I'm gonna have to take a break and then I'll come back to it uh, shortly. All right, let me take another crack at this. Now I had a little interruption there. Um, so this woman, Bess, is is simple. She um, she's devout. She's pious. She cleans the church to feel closer to God. She um, she asks the elders of the of the town for permission to marry this gentleman, who's an outsider. He's an outsider. He uh, works on an oil rig out the sea. Uh, because Scotland borders the sea, and you can see the, the sea there on the cover, pretty rough looking. Um, there's a beauty to this in the starkness of it, but it's filmed beautifully, and the picture quality is high. The, uh, so they're married. Shortly after that, he's involved in an oil rig accident which paralyzes him. And Bess, in her devoutness, in her simpleness, in her whateverness, feels as if she somehow, if she's devout enough and stays close enough to God that she can heal him. God will heal him. And so he asks her, not God, but her husband, uh, asks her to sleep with other men and then tell him about it. And she sees this as a martyring of herself before God so that her husband will heal. So God will take mercy on her husband and heal him. And in one pivotal scene, she has a conversation with God where she's not only speaking to God, but also answering herself as God, kind of in a little deeper voice. But clearly it's a simple person um, deluding herself into thinking that God is responding. Or so it seems. Uh, but there's more to this movie than that. Uh, of course, Bess goes through torment after torment. Uh, the guilt of it versus the, it's the right thing to do because God wants me to do it because it's, he's going to heal my husband. He's going to walk again. A doctor who gets involved who is after her best interests, sort of, but also has an interest in her as well. So you could imagine that his medical opinion might be tainted slightly. He's involved, but really this is all about Bess, the Emily Watson character. And Bess is just a complex character, simple, and yet driven to do things that are certainly not holy, certainly not by any stretch of the imagination normal, sleeping with other men and telling her husband about it. Uh, and there's extremes even to that. So, it's complex, but I think she uh, she believes she's doing the right thing by God and by her husband. Well, that's Breaking the Waves. I liked it a lot. I'm going to watch it again tonight, I think, so I can, once the kids get to sleep, so I can get a little more insight into it and read the book. This is one of those movies where I'm really glad I have it on Criterion because... You've got the the background. You've got the director's comment on scenes. You you have the some of the artists looking back. Some of the actresses and, uh, the actresses and actors looking back on it. You've got film critics' perspectives about the film and about what it means. And um, and you and you will need that. I mean, some of it. I'm I'm after one viewing. Um, I need to see it again. So breaking the waves. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please comment and rate, like, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.